Okay, now here is the part. <laughs> this is the part I'm not good at. That's why I twine bind mine a lot, which is just wrapping it around, sliding your papers under. If you don't want to sew, Google how to twine bind a junk journal, and you'll find lots of videos on that. It's very simple, but the one that I just did, I had it so full, and this cardboard is so flimsy that the um, thread was cutting through the cardboard. Every time I'd open and close it, it would cut up a little bit further, so I stopped working in it. I didn't put any more in it, and I'm going to um, sew this one. Now, what you need, you need some thread. This is the thread twine, well, I don't know what you want to call it, that I get at Dollar Tree. And I'm, I'm choosing blue just because the outside is blue. And I just thought that'd look pretty. Anything you want. You can also buy, and I have some because it comes with my little kit. I'm going to show you. Um, waxed thread. It just slides through the paper easier. You can also wax this yourself. You can buy a little wax block. That's made just for wax and thread. Or you can get a piece of beeswax. I have beeswax in the closet. I'm just too lazy to dig it out. And frankly, I don't have an easier time with waxed thread than I do regular thread. I have an equally hard time. <laughs> so I don't bother. So you need your thread. And I'll go ahead and tell you, you're going to cut it three times the length of your book. So one, two three and because I'm extra I add a little more because <laughs> I just do so there's that then you need some kind of binders binder clips I have those little pink tipped um, clamps from the Dollar Tree and I just saw them and I can't put my finger on them you know they're right here in front of me somewhere so you can use those these are just binder clips I've had for umpteen years. They just help you hold your papers together to keep it um, from sliding around. So it just gives you some kind of clamp. It just makes it easier. You don't need it. It just makes it easier. Then you need an awl. This is just a pointy tool. That's for poking the holes before you do it. And I just keep mine over here in my little tool caddy with a wine cork on it just so I don't stick myself. Then you need some needles. These are the ones that came in my little kit. Um, you can see there's all different kinds. I added some extras to it, but there's all different sizes. And then we have our bone folder, right? So this and this and this and the wax thread, I think all came in the kit together. Don't quote me. The bone folder could have been separate. And this was with the wax thread. I will look up, I've had it a couple years, I will go through my orders, look it up, and I will link it in my Amazon store. So if you're interested, you can get it, or you can see what it is and get it somewhere else. It does not matter to me, but I will show you what I got. And um, this as well. This has been a good one, so I like it. Now, get you a big book. This is the best way I have found to do it. You can find this. Listen, don't worry about using up no dictionary. Ain't nobody using dictionaries these days. Just kind of open it up. Well, I'm not going to use it for. I'm not going to use it for that. We'll use it in a minute. Hold on. <laughs> so let me go ahead and write top on this in case I drop it somewhere. Just try to even it up. Okay, we will use our book. We'll use the side of it so we don't press down into our um, little mat down here. You could use a cutting board, whatever you want to use. And we're going to go and poke a hole in every one of these uh, 
I like to make sure mine's big enough. Now I'm going to turn this over and poke them back through just to make it look a little bit nicer. And to give myself a bigger hole, you can see, because... I can't hardly see these little small ones. Now we will set that aside. I'm going to take and see if I can fold this right on the first set of holes. And I'm going to show you why because I want each set of holes lined up with the signature that's going in that page because my holes are not straight. I'm just going to tell you. They're just not straight. And so I want... Oh, well, we're going to do the last one. See, I had it upside down. That's why you write top on there because I would not have known. We'll start with the back one. <laughs> I have everything in there, even as I want it, just kind of set it together, open it up to your center. Now I have these big binder clips, I'm going to use these big ones. Now everything's not going to get clipped because, you know, some of those pages were small. I'm going to clip that one. I'm going to clip this one. And I'm going to set it down in the crease of this. Look, I'm already off center. You see that? So set it down in the crease of your book, find the top, center it, because these are centered. Don't do the top there, because then you're going to have it off center in the book. So just try to find the center, just eyeball it, and put that down in the crease, and then you're going to take your awl, find that hole, and just poke through and you could clip that on there but I'm just holding it with my finger so that should have gone all the way through that one up top now see I got a little off it's because I have so many papers in here. So let me um, when you see this sewed, you're going to see. Look, see? <laughs> That's why I didn't want to show you all this. Okay, there we <laughs> so You see that? Listen, only no shame would show you something like that. But I just want to show you. You don't have to be perfect to make a junk journal. And I am living proof. So we're going to do that to each one of these. Okay, girls, this is the part you will have to be patient with me because I'm, you already see I'm not good at poking holes. <laughs> I'm not good at sewing either. I went ahead and threaded my needle 
because we didn't need to waste all that time. This is the size needle I'm using. First of all, I need something big to hold on to, and it's just easier for me. And plus, I needed a bigger eye. If you can see that, which I don't know, can you tell? To get this thread through because it's kind of thick. So your needle will depend on like the size eye you need and really what you can hold on to. And this is what I can hold on to. So we're going to find the center. I've tried to keep these um, together. I could have kept them clipped. And you know what? Whenever I poked my other ones, I didn't even clip them because that clip didn't do me any good. I just stuck them on there and held them down and poked that hole. So do what you <laughs> do what you think is best. Now we're going through the center, and I think everything is still lined up. If it's not, you can go through a little at a time. It is perfectly, perfectly fine. You can go through one at a time if you need to. I do that sometimes. Like I say, I don't um, sew a lot of mine in just because I'm not patient. Even though it does hold it in better. I'll give you that. It holds the pages in better. But I'm not good at it. And I'm not patient. Therefore, I just usually just twine by it. Now, you might be one of those ones that can just go straight through and not miss a lick. I am not that girl. So, I'm going to pull this. See, I can't grip it. My hands are so dry, it slides off the um, needle. Plus, I have a bigger eye to come through that hole. Now, pull it through until there's maybe that much of a tail. Take you a little piece of washi tape. This is optional, but having had pulled tails through before, this makes the most sense. <laughs> Excuse me, you know I am drinking coffee. So let's find our middle hole in the book. I need um, rubber finger grips. Now we want to go up to the top. Can I see what I'm doing? Let me. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'll go ahead and pull it all the way through. And don't worry if it's not completely tight. We'll have the opportunity at the end to tighten it up. So see there it went from the middle to the top. Now we're going to go through the back side of these um, pages. Okay, now look here. You see this one? That one just barely got a hole down at the bottom and it is it, it could have been up and not had a hole on either one of them, which that one will probably tear, but you know, that's fine. So this one's mainly going to be held by the one in the center and that's going to happen with most of your little small papers. But it is nothing to worry about. See, the dolly's held by one. That's held by one. Oh, that one's just, that one's going to break. Now we're back through the middle. So we did that one. Now we go all the way down to the bottom. Okay, 
now we're going to go back up through, if you can see, not back up, back down through. The middle. Let's see. I think I just did that wrong. I just did that wrong. Let's take that out. See, I told you this is not the um. This is not. <laughs> Let's see. No, that's right. Oh, okay. We hadn't took it through the book yet. I'm like, some ain't right. Well, because we didn't go through the book yet. Okay. I ain't lost my mind. Okay, now. Golly. I was questioning myself because I knew that wasn't going to come out right. Now we stick it back through the book. Now we're going to come back up through the middle. So, go in through the same hole in the middle. And then try to go in the same hole. We'll do a little at a time. And you'll see I have way more thread than I need, but I'm just always nervous that um, I measured wrong. So, well, I ripped my paper. Washi tape ain't supposed to be that strong. So now you'll see there is a tail on each side of the thing. So just pull it. Not enough to, that's good and tight. This one could be a little tighter. Just want to tie it together. You can tie a bow if you wanted to. So here <laughs> is our first signature, and it is all sewed in. Now you can see. When I get this in here, how <laughs> thick it's going to be. But that's okay. But you see how, like, when you see my other ones, the pages kind of, you know, give and go. These just lay down neater. So, if if you do so, this is kind of the way to go. But the other way, it works too. Most of mine are that way. And it works just fine. So, I'm going to go off camera and sew in the other three. Okay, so we got everything sewn in. You can see we can close it up that much. When, when I'm through with it, it's probably going to be open that much. <laughs> but I got everything nice and neat. Now, what I wanted to tell you was what I didn't do on this one that I did on my previous one was I put a, a ribbon tie. But I put it on the inside. So before I glued down the inside covers, I would take a ribbon and leave enough excess on past here on both sides to tie it, right? 
run you a bead of glue all the way through because you don't have your you're doing this before you put any papers in and glue that ribbon down and that way when you close it and then and then put your um paper back over the top you don't see the ribbon you just see it out here to be tied i didn't do that this is what i do a lot of mine this i found um i don't even remember where i found this it might have been at that liquidation sale for a dollar anyway there's tons of it so i use it's, it's stretch i don't want to unpin it but it's elastic now they have some of these right now at the dollar tree in different colors I'm contemplating buying them just to be prettier than this. So there's a chance I'll go get some. <laughs> I don't know why I hadn't picked them up so far. Because I'm like, oh, well, I have this big thing. I don't need it. Well, yes, I do. So I can either put the stretchy elastic on there. Or I can take, this is just a, a excess piece of ribbon that I had over here in my stash. I just looked down and saw it and thought, well, that's awful pretty. So we can take this and just tie it on each and every time. And that be our binder, which I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to tie it with a ribbon. So we'll put that back and we will just set this to the side. We don't need it for now. I'll put my paper clip over here. So what we need to do now that the book is bound is we need to go through and glue our pockets. So like right here. That's open, so your stuff is going to fall out. This is this is how I keep my glue. This is my Lucy Cup Holly bought me years ago. And um, I use it for my glue so the glue stays down at the tip and I don't have to shake it. This is the Eileen's um, Tacky Glue. You can actually find smaller bottles the, of these at the Dollar Tree. I have used this glue since the 90s when I first found it. This is my main crafting glue. I have several glues up here. This is my main favorite crafting glue. It, it will glue pretty much anything. So we just want to go through the book. Let me get around here where I can see it. Run a little bead of glue. Just rub it down. You don't have to let it see it the um, dry. It'll dry on you. Just go through. Okay, there's another one. We'll go through and glue all your um, pockets. We'll get up to this other one. Hold on. Okay, this one right here. This one, we just need to glue the edges. Now, I also have tape um rolling tape double-sided tape but for pockets i prefer glue because it's a stronger hold this is good for just tacking down cards or tags or even magazine pictures which i i usually um stick glue those but you can do your pockets with these if you want to i just think glue holds better for pockets so let me go through and do all those, and I'll be back. 